Hey there, just wanted to take a minute to talk through a Google extension that I found really handy lately when I'm um, correcting student work in Google Docs. It's called Talk and Comment. And I've in the past I've talked a little bit about voice commenting with Kaizena, and Kaizena is a great tool too, but it's gotten really kind of cumbersome. And Talk and Comment is really simple to use once it's installed. And you can see I already have it added to Chrome. I will send you the URL um, directly to here, and you can just click Add to Chrome. And when it's installed, it will just show up here like this in your you know extension menu. But just want to show you how it works. So uh, if this is a student's essay, normally when I give feedback, it's always a good idea to go into suggesting mode so that when you do make a change, it is tracked over here along the side. Now, a student just has to either accept the change that I've made or they can reject it. Um, and that's great for short little um, changes like like this one. However, sometimes you want to talk through bigger idea stuff with your kids. You know, about um, maybe it's about organization or flow or voice or something like that. And a lot of times talking through a comment like that is a lot easier than trying to type out exactly what's on your mind. Or in this case, here's an example of using the wrong kind of effect. Now I could just make this change just like I did the previous one and they would just hit the accept um, you know, option and they would never really know the difference. So maybe it would be better for me to actually talk through this. So I've just highlighted this word over here and over on the right hand side, this is the talk and comment extension at work. So I'm just going to click on this and it immediately starts recording my voice. There's no countdown for you or anything like that. It just starts recording right away. So I would talk through affect the noun versus affect the verb and which one you would use when and all of that good stuff. And when I'm done, I'm just going to click this little green button right here. And it will generate a URL for me very quickly. I'm just going to copy this and hit OK. And now down here, uh, I'll go back to Effect. And you'll note that in Google Docs now, I don't have to go back up to Insert Comment like I used to have to in the past. Now, whenever you highlight something, it gives you the option to add a comment right here. So I'm just going to paste in that URL and hit Comment. And now I have a voice note. And it immediately starts rec And when students are done acting on my advice, they can just hit the resolve button to get, get rid of it. You, this also works in Google Slides. So anytime you want to just highlight something, maybe you want to talk about the content of the slide or um, the design of the slide or whatever, but you can go up to insert and comment here as well, and you could paste in a URL. Um, it would be a different one, obviously, but you have the talk and comment feature right here, so you can do the same thing um, in Google Slides. Um, hopefully it's as useful for you as it, as it has been for me.